Locals are gathering in the village of Liphook in East Hampshire tonight over fears that a piece of land once given to a wildlife organisation could end up with 175 homes on it. A number of years ago, a house and land were donated to the World Wildlife Fund, as it was known then by Lord Holman. But it has since been sold and it could be developed. Our reporter Joe Campbell is at the meeting tonight. Joe, there's a certain amount of opposition to this, isn't there? Well, Tony, I suppose it's a familiar story. We all know about the demand to build homes and we all know about communities like this one in Liphook who are said set against the actual building that's due to take place on their doorstep. But this is a story with a difference because the land that's involved here, well, it was gifted to the uh, major charity you just talked about, the Worldwide Fund for Nature, with the idea that they would protect the environment. And many people here, including relatives of those who gave them that land, now feel that they have been let down. Everything you can see, as far as the eye can see, it was hers. It stretched from here down for another quarter of a mile beyond Bowhunt Manor. Few people can claim to be better informed about what Lady Betty Holman and Sir Adrian, her husband, intended when they left their estate here to the Worldwide Fund for Nature than their nephew, Eddie Trotter. Or how Lady Betty would feel now it might become a housing estate. She would be turning in her grave thinking it's been left like this and not to the any benefit of the people of Lipok. To add insult to injury, campaigners point out the development will impinge on the South Downs National Park, set up to protect areas like this. I remember going there when I first moved to Lipok, being shown round by Lady Holman, and it was a beautiful place with a wildfowl centre and black swans on the lake, and it was just a beautiful destination and it's actually still on tourist maps and on the bus route as a destination for tourists. The WWF, who stand to benefit from the increased value of this land now, say they acted within the spirit of the legacy when they sold it to the developers. The land's new owners say a school, football pitch and other amenities funded by the housing development are a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for Liphook. They claim other residential developments have often given little back to the community but we have a real chance to secure some tangible benefits through the development of the site. There's frankly almost no benefit to the village in what they're offering uh, and they're also not offering it for free anyway. Someone else has to pay, usually ourselves. But objectors here feel the real cost will be the loss of land its former owners loved and wanted to share with their neighbours. Well, the situation is that the actual planning application has yet to start going through a formal process, really, in this particular case. But already we're expecting that it will be a very crowded meeting here in the village of Liphook tonight. And we'll bring you all on that meeting in our update bulletin at half past ten this evening, Tony. Joe Campbell in Liphook, thank you very much indeed.